Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our last break of the Thursday night is 2018. It's going to be a good one. Panini National Treasures Basketball. Four box. Pick your team. Number 22. Where are some famous number 22s in basketball? Big thanks to all these folks who got their teams straight up. And thanks to Chris, Last Spot Mojo, and Boombox. Both of these guys got, got these two teams were just sitting there for hours. And Mark got the Lakers, and then Chris knocked out that last spot, got the Denver Nuggets. We also have this uh, Mavs, Dallas Mavericks, random number block, number 22. So it's just a number block break, only for the Mavs, only for this particular break. And big thanks to Mark and Ken for getting into this one. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Did random, oh, okay, I thought random.org left already. Two and a three, five times for each list. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, and five. We got Ken down to Ken. There's the Dallas random number block tab. Yeah, the dice are tired, Kale. Okay, two and a three, five times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we got four down to zero. So Ken, any and all Dallas Mavericks redemptions, including known one of one redemptions, will go to you. Although you have number one, so it wouldn't matter anyway. Mark Irons, you have eight. Ken, you have the rest. Let's order these numerically. Let's print this out. Oh, actually, I want to print out the sheet name as well. I don't want to share it, Joe. Come on. There we go. Workbook title and sheet name. Got to get that right. There's the case right there. Here is the official printout. Team list. All right, here. 7-Eleven. Four box. Pick your team. 22. Thank you and good luck to everybody. I know Mark's here. I know Passmore is here, right? We got Mark Passmore on the list. Cody is here. I don't know if Ken is here. But I know Ken will see the video. I know Chris is here. There it is. There's this list right over here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Kale. Yes, 3 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern. Roundabouts. Depending on, depending on L.A. traffic. <laughs> Is it bad you're hoping for an 8 out of 10 Luca RPA? Oh, the, it's, I think some people are tend to naturally be inclined to root for the underdog. I don't think it's bad. Hey, I just want to see a Luca. I don't care who it goes to. <laughs> I just want to pull one. I don't. I, I feel like we haven't seen one like in ages. I feel like it's been. I feel like we have pulled one or two or few, but it's been many cases ago since we've actually pulled a, a Luca Doncic. All right, good luck, ladies and gents. There's all the cards right there, including the, the one per box printing plate. We'll slide that out. And we'll show it off. It's Zach Collins for the Trailblazers. Ken Goldberg with the Trailblazers. Let's get a blank card here to hide some of the hits. Ken, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, Otto Porter Jr., 18 out of 99. Man, 
I feel like some of these some of these cards and teams are gonna be outdated already once we start going through this. There's been so much movement in the NBA over the last week or two. Uh, today's big news on, on the Thursday was the Thunder agreeing to a trade to trade Westbrook to the Rockets. Chris Paul going to OKC. That's wild. We got Tim Duncan game gear to 99. And now Oklahoma has like a zillion picks. Like over like the next 10 years or something like that. So um, That's a spur. Tim Duncan obviously will go to Josh Pruce. The Spurs, Otto Porter Jr. will go to Rodrigo who has the Wizards. And Kyrie, Boston edition, will go to Ken. We got Kyrie in Brooklyn. We'll be good in 2027, says Cody. You know, I, I think it's actually a great... I know it sucks for OKC, but I know it sucks for OKC to, to kind of have to... Paul George demanding the trade. Westbrook obviously is demanding trade at this point. Gets, get you know, goes out and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? You got so many assets, so many picks. Shea Gilgis Alexander's really good. Danilo's on an expiring, but that's a solid player right there. There you go. Jason Cordero, Jason Jaspi in the house. 2030 Thunder NBA champs. But they've got a great front office. There's Omari Spellman for Mark and the Hawks. Boombox with that one. But they got a great front office. So if there's any team... I would trust to build through the draft. It would be it would be OKC, and by the time those players start to come to like bear fruit, LeBron's out of the league. He's old. He'll be he'll be retired. Who knows where Kawhi and Paul George will be? You know, Steph Curry's getting older. Durant's getting old. You know, like at a ninety nine, Trevor Ariza, Wizards edition. Treasures of the Hall, Mitch Richmond, forty out of ninety nine, for the Kings. That'll be for Sacramento. Ken with Sacramento. Flip saying, Freddie saying, oh, there's just no more competition anymore. You know, Bird and never, would have never joined Magic. But here's the thing, though. I don't think you could. If Even if they wanted to, they couldn't. Just the rules of the league just wouldn't even allow that. Nice Mitch Richmond for Ken and the Kings once again. Next up, Dikembe Matumbo. Clutch factor, jersey and autograph, 37 out of 99. And that is Sixers edition of Dikembe Mutombo. He's giving you all sorts of inscriptions here. He's got he's got his number. He's got H O F. He's got a nice autograph. Sixers Josh Pruce with the 76ers game worn material. There's Muggsy Bogues for Charlotte, 51 out of 99. Ken with the Hornets. But I think Flipcoin and others, I think they're, they're, it's this just market correcting, right? Before, players couldn't move anywhere. Now that they have this player empowerment, now everyone's going hog wild and jumping around to whatever city they want to. Eventually, it'll start to swing back the other way and normalize a bit once they... Because someone's going to shoot themselves in the foot. Marvin Bagley the third, 3 out of 10. Like someone's going to lose out on a bunch of money or... You know, or or get traded to the wrong spot, or something. Something's going to happen, and you know, you can't be so reckless just jumping from team to team. And eventually, people's players will stop doing it. Three, five out of ten on that Marvin Bagley the third. King could be a really interesting team this year. Ken, Ken has the Kings. That was just box one. Nice RPA. Next box. Yeah, AD is on the Lakers. Cousins is now on the Lakers. The Lakers also have Rondo. So it's like the uh, it's like the Pelicans from a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was I was about to ask how much that Marvin Bagley out of ten would go for. That last Bagley out of ten went for thirty seven hundred dollars, folks. The NT basketball is no joke, especially the RPAs. 
Well, Nick, I was wondering why the 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 Nuggets didn't sell out faster. Nuggets were only like two two hundred something dollars, and those Michael Porter Juniors are still going for like two thousand three thousand dollars. All right, the one per plate. My, well, we have to pull the my, uh, the Michael Porter Jr., but but still, it's well worth the chase. This case has to cooperate, though. All right, there's Mike Connolly, Grizz edition for Ken. Ken, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. J.J. Redick, Sixers edition, 32 out of 99. J.J. Redick going to... Uh, Josh Proust and the Sixers. J.J. Redick also on the move. He's in New Orleans now. He's going to run with Drew Holiday and Zion. And Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball. That's an interesting team. Pelicans. There's Luka Doncic. 45 out of 99. Ken Goldberg with the number 5. Keeping track at home. Ken has all the numbers except for 8. Mark Irons has 8. So we'll go to the, on the other pile over here, the Mavs pile. There's Elio Kobu, 14 out of 25. Three-color jersey. I am, Rex. You have some extra time with me while you're on your shift. Phoenix Suns for Jeremy, 33. There's CJ McCollum. 54 out of 99, Trailblazers for Ken. Game War Material. He's got a good podcast, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. There's Big Game James. That's 85 out of 99 for Boombox and My Lakers. He does, uh, he does post or pre, half, and post for the Lakers network. Big game, James. Pretty great personality. I feel like he had a, he, I don't quite, I'm a little too young for, for uh, James Worthy, but I want to say that he had some knee issues that maybe kind of cut his productivity or his career shorter. Like he could have been like, one of the GOTs if he if injuries or didn't derail him. Jersey Nauto, JJ Reddick, seventy one at ninety nine. Game more material. Josh Pruess. I know, it was a little unexpected. There's Jerry Lucas, clutch factor, Jersey and Auto, six out of ninety nine. That'll be for Golden State Moody with the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. Nice, like that old logo there. We've got Lasting Legacies, Vinsanity, 24 out of 49. Two-color jersey and autograph for the ATL, Boombox with the Hawks. Game-worn material. And we've got... For the Pacers, Aaron Holiday. We were talking about Drew Holiday a little bit earlier. That's his little brother. Aaron, 32 out of 49. Three-color jersey and autograph. That'll be for Ken and the Indiana Pacers. Nice. I don't think Aaron Holiday is going to get Marvin Bagley money, but I'll bet you'll be surprised at what that goes for on a secondary market if you look it up. Like the RPAs, basketball in general, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with collecting hoops, I'll tell you, there's a lot of value, a lot of secondary market value in it. Supply and demand, right? There's just fewer players on a basketball roster. And fewer players mean a single player can have a much more major impact on the, on the fortunes of a team. Just smaller rosters mean smaller checklists, et cetera, et cetera. 
Uh, one of the one common question I often get about people who are just coming back into the hobby. Hey, I want to try to make money. Like, how do I do that? And I tell them, well, you know, probably shouldn't think of it that way. But if if you want to try to get some big secondary market value, big return on it, collect basketball. We've got Latrell Sprewell, Knicks edition, going to Jared Nickter. Jared, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. We got Dennis Smith Jr., Mavs edition, 14 out of 39. That'll be for number four, Ken. We got Donovan Mitchell, 7 out of 99. I think the Jazz got Mike Connolly, right? Or is it the Nuggets? I don't know why I confuse those teams. I think it's the Jazz. Jazz got Mike Connolly, right? Which is pretty good. Jazz could be a really interesting team. We got Troy Brown Jr., Triple Relic, 17 out of 25. Uh, Rodrigo with the Wizards. So what's the team in the West that gets knocked out? Top eight, right? I think we were, we were looking at the standings before. I think OKC slips. I mean, in the East, I don't know what's going to happen in the East. I mean, it's probably like some combination of, of, of Bucks, Raptors, Sixers, Heat maybe. You know, that's all the top four. It'll be kind of interchangeable there. But the West is where it gets wild. There's Michael Bridges, 17 out of 99, Colossal Relic for Jeremy, 33 in the Suns. I think, I think OKC, who had the playoff spot, I think they slip out of that playoff spot in the top eight. And the Lakers jump in, right? There's Victor Oladipo, 27 out of 9. Pacers might actually be in the mix. Top four. That could be interesting. With a healthy Ola Depot. Game more material. Pacers. Ken. We've got Zaza Pachulia. 5 out of 10 for the Pistons. Hey, it's Georgian. I was like, what, what flag is that? Georgia. Once the Zaza goes to Mark Passmore and the Detroit Pistons. A few more in this box. We got Miles Turner for the Pacers, five out of ten. I wonder if like I wonder if the Spurs slip out of the out of the West playoff spots. You know, they might have a slightly down year because I kinda like the Kings. Sort of an exciting team. Five out of ten. Miles Turner, solid player, Ken Pacers. Then we've got 20 out of 25. You have Big Game James. Now you got Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Boombox with my Lakers. Legend. And the last one here is Jason Kidd. 43 out of 99. All decade 2000s autograph. Nets edition that'll go to Ken and the Brooklyn Nets. Coach on the Lakers. Do the Lakers have too many chefs in the kitchen? <laughs> they got. I think they got three former head coaches on the team, right? Frank Vogel is the head coach. Chris. Uh, Chris. Jason Kidd. I don't know. I was. I don't know. I was about to say Chris Bryant, but Jason Kidd. Oh, maybe because he his face is looking at me right here. Jason Kidd, former coach. 
And then I think they got Lionel Hollins, I believe. I think he was a former head coach, right? Frank Vogel has two replacements sitting right behind him. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for the fill. We got a redemption on the bottom. We've got the plate. That's Tim Hardaway for the Heat. Levi Johnson with Miami. SKS is saying, sorry, he's saying, Pops like Belichick, perennial playoff threat. All right. <laughs> Levi Johnson all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Well, then, I don't know, maybe... Looking at the West standings from last year, so... I don't know. Maybe the Kings just kind of... So it's a Thunder that's out of a playoff spot. you got to imagine. Lakers are in that spot. So it's Warriors, Nuggets, Trailblazers, Rockets, Jazz, Lakers, Spurs, Clippers, in whatever order you want to put those teams in. So the Kings may still slightly be on the outside looking in, but I think they're going to be just an annoying team. At, at, at worst, at best, a playoff team. At worst... Just an annoying team to play because they're they're going to play so fast. A lot a lot of young talent on that team. Luke Walton can co coach a little defense as well, so that could be a really pesky team. There's Nikola Jokic, Chris McKee, last spot mojo. We have Larry Bird, seventy three out of ninety nine. Larry Bird, Celtics, Ken Goldberg. Game war material, Ken. Next up, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Biography material, 16 out of 25. Nice three-color patch. Who got the uh, Milwaukee Bucks in this one? Ken did. Ken with the Bucks. It's a good-looking patch in there, that little window. Game more material right there. There's Josh Okogie. 46 out of 99 Timberwolves. And Finn's up. Chris, who's in the Pacific Northwest, saying that Portland was would 100 percent trade for a player. To get it like a, to get what? To get a third on that team? A healthy Yusef Nurkic rest of the season. You got a couple young young guys too. We got a Collins, a Zach Collins, I think could be interesting. 46 out of 99, Josh Okogie, once again, Timberwolves, Rodrigo with that. We got Jalen Brunson, Dallas Mavericks, that's 98 out of 99. Hey, that's one for Mark Irons. There you go, Mark. But see, yeah, then you can't you can't underestimate the Mavs, right? They've got if they got a healthy Porzingis, and as good as Doncic was last season, if he takes it to another notch, another level, you know, they piece a team around there. That could be. See, I don't know what's. It's wide open. Warriors, peerless signatures. Sarunas, Marcelionis, old warrior, thirteen out of ninety nine, going to Moody. Hey, there's Mark Irons. You're welcome, man. Three more to go. We got Lasting Legacies, Jersey, and Auto. Tony Kukoc, 48 out of 49. Two more to go. One more live, and then one a redemption. Bulls. Rodrigo with the Bulls. It's Grant Hill. Nice. 96 out of 99. Pistons edition for Passmore. Pistons. It's Grant Hill. Do we kind of like this old logo or is this an abomination? I mean, the Pistons have such a classic color scheme. But I've, and I'm usually not into 
these wild colors. <laughs> for, especially when you have a team that has a very traditional, like old, they, you know, they've been around for a while. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. All right. And the last one here is Treasures of the Hall Gold. What team does this guy play for? It's a guy you want. It's a guy these particular teams would want. I just need to know. He's played for a few different teams. He's a good guy, though. It's not that I don't know the guy. But I need to know where he goes as far as this break is concerned. Treasures of the Hall Gold. Is he all for this team? No, he's got some other... Okay. It's Charles Barkley, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, his Rockets. Rockets Charles Barkley just has logo men and one of ones. And then he only has one of ones for the Suns as well. But he's got a lot more stuff for the... Uh, for the Sixers. This is Sixers. Sorry, I should have played Who Am I? Treasure of the Hall Gold, which may be out of 10, out of 25. Charles Barkley Sixers edition. And that is for... Where's my pen? I need to mark it on the... And that is for... Josh Pruce. There you go, Josh. Should have played Who Am I, Kale. That was a mistake. I'm not used to playing Who Am I in these sorts of breaks. All right. Well, but there you go. Charles Barkley. I know who he is. You do too. Sir Charles, Philadelphia edition. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. No Luka Doncic in this case, I'm afraid. But we do have another case. Um, random number, a full case random number block. Although no one's bought spots in that yet. Maybe we'll just turn that into, I don't know what Nick's thinking, but maybe we'll just turn that into a pick your team. So anyway, look out for that. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thank you very much, everyone, for uh, staying up late with us and watching this break. And, uh, and hopefully we got you some nice hits. If not, we appreciate the orders. Thanks for getting in. We'll get them next time. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Good night.